For a deep freeze, the city of Winston-Salem is on standby with freezing rain in the forecast overnight. Meteorologist Michelle Kennedy has been tracking it all for us all day long. Michelle, what is the time frame for this expected freeze? Yeah, you know, most of this doesn't even start until well after midnight, but we do see the clouds in advance of that. And unfortunately, the cold temperature set up and we're talking freezing or below kind of hovering there overnight as that moisture moves in. So we have winter weather advisories. This extends from the tribe back into the mountains and up into Virginia. And you notice the flow of that moisture. It's getting going right now has not even reached those South Carolina yet. It will as we go into the next few hours and that continues that stream of moisture overhead falling on some freezing conditions and we know that that could be pretty bad for us in terms of light freezing rain causing some patchy black ice. We don't expect huge accumulations. It's just the travel concerns. That's one of the main reasons the winter weather advisory is issued overnight through 10 a.m. Worst time to travel. We believe at this point biggest concerns will be slippery mountain travel, black ice to the east, and this is going to come in spots. It's not going to cover all of the highways or your main roads, but you might catch it on a corner. You might catch it where there's a higher elevation like those bridges that are more open to the air and can cool very quickly, even below your air temperature from where you are reading that at our city locations, for instance. So better travel times after 10 a.m., mainly wet roads at this point, but all of this may be adjusted based on our temperatures and what happens with that moisture. A lot of folks may miss out on a good bulk of the patchy black ice, which would be better, uh, especially to the east, but icy elevated surfaces. This includes your steps. If you're going out in the morning, walking the dog, please use extra caution. It might be hard to see what's out there. School delays are going to be likely in a few areas as they want to protect certainly the young drivers and getting kids on the school buses. It looks to come in just at that right time where it's going to be concerned for our commute. Isolated power outages and then we got you down into those low 30s, upper 20s at least until about 8, 9 a.m. until we work out of it and talk rain chances. It, it does look to be a yucky Friday. We'll talk more about it coming up. All right, Michelle, thank you very much. Well, we do have some news just into the newsroom. Stokes County Schools just tweeted out that they will be on a three hour delay tomorrow because of that freezing rain potential. You can stay on top of all delays and school cancellations by downloading the WXII 12 News mobile app. And if you still need a snow code, you can find more information on our website, WXII12.com.